Hello guys, welcome to another vlog. And this is a very common question that's asked from me. Uh, how to get into a PhD in Australia? And in this vlog, I am going to talk about uh, medical students and how they can get into a PhD. However, it's applicable to everyone. The other thing I'm going to talk about today is how to get a scholarship as well. So both of these things are going to be covered. So the first question I get uh, is can medical doctors do a PhD? The answer to that is yes, absolutely. Anybody can do a PhD and medical doctors are actually sought out after to do a PhD because a lot of people doing a PhD are in science, basic sciences, physics, chemistry, but not, not a lot of medical doctors actually go and delve into a PhD. So academia is something definitely open for medical doctors if you want an alternate career and getting into a PhD is a very good idea. The second question is that could we do a PhD directly after finishing medical school? And the answer to that is yes and no. Uh, so no uh, is the formation of no is the answer for majority of the medical doctors basically who are from South Asia, Southeast Asia. The reason for that is we generally, while doing medicine basically in Pakistan or India, we do not really do a research year or a major research project. So if you haven't done any research or you don't have a research project or a research year embedded into your degree, then doing a direct PhD in Australia is slightly difficult. You may not get the admission. However, if you've done a research year, which is sometimes called an honors year, if you've done med medical degree from North America or Europe, who have an embedded research program in it, and that, that program is more than six months in duration, then there is a possibility that you can get in and you can liaise directly with the university. So that'll be the answer to that. So if you can't get into a PhD, what's the best thing to do? Uh, most people end up doing a Master's of Public Health, which I ended up doing. However, I do not recommend it. Uh, you can see the other videos I've posted uh, uh, for advocating not doing the MPH. I recommend you getting into an MPhil program. And an MPhil program can then be upgraded into a PhD. Okay. So the other question that comes uh, is, how long does it take to do a PhD? So in general, the universities say three to 3.5 years in Australia. However, most people do not finish a PhD before four years. So 3.5 to four years is a median time for doing a PhD. May take up to five years. Uh, it took me about five years to complete the PhD because I was sort of working along the lines and dropped off to part time after the first three years. If you enroll in an MPhil program, then the advantage is that you can convert the MPhil into a PhD. Uh, MPhil programs are generally two years. So after two years, you can convert it into a PhD, do another two years and finish off the program in four years. So if you're enrolling in a PhD directly, you may finish it off in 3.5 years. But if you do an MPhil with a PhD, you can still finish it off in four years. So it's a good idea to enroll in an MPhil. If you do a MPH and then convert it into a PhD, there is no credit transfer from the MPH to the PhD. So you'll have to do one or two years of the MPH program and then, you another, then do another 3.5 years of the PhD. So that, that adds up a bit longer. The other question I get is the scholarships. Are there scholarships for PhD programs? The easiest program in the whole world, and this is not only Australia, to get a scholarship in is a PhD or an MPhil program. There are plenty of scholarships out there. Uh, Australian government funds a lot of the PhD programs. So it's uh, for domestic students, if you have a PR, any research degree is free anyway. So you don't have to pay a single penny for it. But if you're an international graduate as well, there are plenty of scholarships out there and you can definitely get a scholarship. In Australia, the scholarships are around $2,500 a month. Uh, so you can, uh, if you end up getting an admission for a PhD, there's a high likelihood that you can get a scholarship as well. The other question I get is that, what in improves or increases my chances of getting a PhD scholarship? and also an admission into a PhD program. So your previous research experience, that's the key to it. 
So you need to have worked in previous research projects and uh, have done research related jobs that helps you out. Publications improve your likelihood of getting a scholarship. So if you are after a PhD scholarship, it's a good idea to maybe engage in a research project for six months, let's say, and get a publication as a co-author on it. If you're a lead author, then that's excellent. If you can't make it to a lead author, then get, get a co-author on it. Uh, conference paper are not highly rated, so don't waste your time in uh, going to different conferences and presenting papers. No doubt that's a good exposure, but if you're after a scholarship published paper in a peer review journal, is a way to go. Final question, how do I get into a PhD? How do I find a supervisor? So most universities have something called the Research Supervisor Connect. I'll try to link it up in the description when I get a chance or put it in the comments. So just uh, Google Research Supervisor Connect, at least that's the case for University of Sydney. Find a supervisor who's doing a project which uh, resonates with you or has a research interest that you are interested in. For example, I had a research interest in sports medicine. So I looked up sports medicine, which supervisors have worked or working around it, and then approached a couple of them and one of them was interested in taking me on. The most important thing before embark embarking on the journey is going to be your English exam. So make sure you've done your IELTS or PTE or OET exam before embarking on a journey. Because if you don't have seven band each, then it's unlikely that you will get an acceptance for a university. The final thing is that make sure you plan ahead of time. So if you're planning to do a PhD in 2020, make sure you apply at least eight to nine months beforehand. So make sure you apply in the first quarter of 2019 for a 2020 placement. That's how the system works. All right, thank you very much. If you have any comments, uh, please post them down in the comment section. If you have any ideas, make sure that you comment below and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you, bye.